There's a very famous patient by the name of H.M. Some of you may have heard of H.M. H.M. had a very, he had epilepsy. And so in, 19, in the early 50s, he was going to have to go and get his brain resected because it was now life-threatening, uh, his epilepsy. And so they pulled out. When they did the surgery, they were doing an experimental surgery. They had the unfortunate uh, incident of taking out the hippocampus and, other, and some ancillary parts of this guy's brain. When the HM wakes up, he has no ability to convert short-term memory into long-term memory. So he can meet you, and two hours later, meet you again, and meet you again forever. It's Groundhog's Day for HM. There is no ability to know he has anterograde amnesia. Can't go forward with it. But here's the extraordinary thing about HM that was discovered that led us to the path that it took years to consolidate a memory. They began asking him, they knew he didn't have any short-term memory in the forward direction. What about retro, retrograde? What about, in the, what about going the other direction? What did he begin to forget? And they would ask him questions of things that happened a year ago. And you know what was extraordinary is he didn't know either. He didn't have a hippocampus, but that was weird. The hippocampus converting short-term to long-term? Not. What? Two years. Nope, couldn't remember anything. Three years, no memory. Five years, seven years, 11 years, he finally got a memory trace back. And then after 11 years, he could remember a lot of different things about what was going on. And all of a sudden, it began to hit researchers. Oh my gosh, the hippocampus is not only involved in the conversion of short-term memory to long-term memory, it's also involved in systems consolidation. And it took 11 years to get it fully consolidated. The hippocampus was needed for 11 years with HM for certain types of memory. After the 11th year, forget it. It was somewhere else. The, the nomad had finally settled down, and it didn't involve the hippocampus. Now we know what goes on. When a memory when a, recruited for long-term storage, it will now go in, and it, uh, the hippocampus will get a hold of it, and it will be an association between the surface of the brain, which is the cortex, and the hippocampus, and they form a love relationship that lasts a decade, maybe more. Nomadic now, it's whatever it's doing, it's doing something. And then, after the 10th year maybe for HM, it's different years for different people, all of a sudden, for some reason, the hippocampus says, you know, I'm done with you. We're getting a divorce. I don't need this surface anymore. And it extracts, subtracts its information, subtracts the electrical relationship, but it's no longer needed because it's still in the cortex, and now this is your permanent memory. I told you there was no such thing as a hard drive in the brain, and there really isn't. It's kind of scattered all over the place. But it forms this electrical relationship. Years. If it takes years to consolidate a memory till its final form, it means stuff that you learned in the first grade will not be fully systems consolidated until you are a sophomore in high school.